In this video, we will look at three meaningful ways of classifying ratios. First, we will look at two perspectives of ratio. One is the multiple batch perspectives. The other one is variable parts perspectives. Now take a minute to analyze these two representations. The, what are the main differences between these two perspectives? So for the multiple batch perspectives, we begin by creating a batch. Like for example, this batch consists of two parts. One is three cups of grape juice and the other one is five cups of peach juice. We first fix the ratio of three is to five by having a total of eight parts. Three parts are for the grape juice and five parts are for the peach juice. Now for the multiple batch perspective, since we have already one batch, we iterate it, means we get more and more batches until the number we want. In this case, let's say we make four batches. So then we will have a total of 12 cups of grapefruit juice and 20 cups of peach juice. Now what about variable parts perspectives? So in this perspective, we fix each part with a specific number of cups. So let's say if we make each part to have four cups, then we will fill all the other parts with the same number of four cups. So you take a look and see if you notice the difference. So for the multiple batch perspectives, the four is actually the multiplier. It refers to the number of groups, right? Whereas for the variable pass perspectives, the four is actually the multiplicant. It refers to the number of units in each group. If you remember, multiplication is defined as a product of the multiplier and the multiplicant, right? So the multiplier comes first. So that's why the four appear first in the front, the first factor, whereas for the variables parts perspective, the four appears as a second, the second factor. Let's take a look at two types of ratio. One is ratio as a multiplicative comparison. The other one is ratio as a measure. Now, for a ratio as a multiplicative comparison, essentially we are comparing two different quantities. Whereas for a measure, we are relating two quantities. So what are the differences do you think you can see between these two types of measure ratios? First is that for the multiplicative comparison, we can compare the two parts because they have the same units. Whereas for a measure, we can't compare the two parts because they have different units. For a multiplicative comparison type of ratio, the part whole conception makes sense because the whole is made up of two parts. Whereas for measure, the part conception doesn't make sense because the number of meters and number of seconds cannot be added. Another difference is that we can combine the two parts to form a ratio as a multiplicative comparison. Whereas for a measure, we can relate the two parts or two components to form a new measure or a new quantity. Example of such measure is speed, which is a quantity to measure fastness. And normally we can see it as a rate of change of distance with respect to time. So if you want to talk about speed, you are actually relating two different quantities, distance and time. So that's the use of ratio as a measure. So normally when we use a ratio as a measure, we are interested in the unit rate. In this case, how many meters in one second, which is three fifth meters in one second. So some books differentiate between these two types of ratio. They call a multiplicative comparison as a ratio, whereas they call 
a measure as a rate. So as long as the two quantities has different units, some textbooks just call it a rate. That's how they differentiate. We can subdivide ratio as a multiplicative comparison into two subtypes. One is the part-part comparison. The other one is part-whole comparison. Let's begin by considering a ratio that is made up of 3 is to 5 is to 8. So in this case, it's a part is to part is to whole type of ratio. Now, do you know why it is actually not necessarily read to specify all three parts for this case? The reason is because if you know any of the two parts, you can always generate the third, right? So if we are focusing on the three cups is to five cups, then it's a part-part type of ratio. Whereas if we focus three cups is to eight cups, then it's a part-whole comparison. You know, here we will say the ratio of grape juice to peach juice is three is to five. Whereas here we say the ratio of grape juice to the total amount of juice is 3 to 8. We can also compare the, the peach juice to the mixed juice. The total. So let me take this opportunity to differentiate between ratio and fraction. Usually ratio and fractions are used interchangeably because we can always write the ratio 3 to 5 as 3 over 5. Right, so that's the first point is the ratio can be written as, as a fraction and the fractions can be written as a ratio. But usually, we use ratio to represent part-part relationship and we use a fraction to represent a part-whole relationship. So with that, thank you.